Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, here in the Warhammer 40,000 universe, I'm about to take a look at a Rogel Dorn battle tank in the Forge Temple Ring of Iron Mars. Oh, what a surprise! It's from Magos Pertinax Pius. Canticle of the Iron Soul initiated. Task. Uh, tech priest, it is time for your next rite, a Brogel Dorn battle tank procured from the hive world of withheld classified. Substantial biological foulness blunts its ma machine spirit and demeans its sacred symmetry. Intel, this Rogel Dorn tank will be under the personal command of the eminent Commissar Franz, attached to the Astra Militarum forces at the eminent assault upon withheld strategic ace to mare B-785. Uh, Astra Militarum is the, is the proper name for the Imperial Guard. Uh, just regular-ass soldiers who uh, overcome their relative weakness in the universe with sheer numbers. Like, seriously, they'll send like a billion soldiers at you if it's important enough. Uh... Owing to the Rogaldorn tank's personal importance to the Commissar, he has insisted on recording directives which will be issued during the cleanse. Addendum. The nature of its depositions contains certain sensitivities, so I encourage you to accompany the cleanse with contemplation upon the wisdom of Magos Logus Festidicus. The eyes of the righteous look without seeing. Praise the Omnisaya. Praise him. Yep, that is one filthy ass tank. It is covered with astro granite dust, composite infill, and rust. This is no good at all. Just taking a look at it here. Cadia. Oh. Oh no. Uh, that's not right. Where the hell did it go? Oh, D. Oh, uh, overview. That's right. Oh no, Procard from the Hive world. Of no, Cadia wasn't Hive world. Cadia is a real big fucking deal in Warhammer 40k. It was uh, the I believe it was the planet nearest the entrance to. Um... Oh fuck! What was it called? The giant warp fissure. I can't. Remember. It's a terrible place to be. You know what? That's bugging me, so I'm going to look that up. I thought it had a different name, but apparently I'm thinking of just the Great Rift, also known as the Cicatrix Maledictum in High Gothic. Which is, weird, weirdly enough, very similar to Latin. Uh, Yeah, it's just a great big fucking hole in reality through which you can access the warp, the dimension of pure thought where the Chaos Gods live. So basically, bad things come out of the Great Rift all the fucking time, and uh, Cadia was the last line of defense against them. Yeah. Real big importance there. Sorry, just babbling to myself. Yeah, there it is. On a side note, I find it really, really funny that even the bottles of soap that they attach to, uh... I guess you can't see it here. Yeah, the bottles of soap on the uh, the soap nozzle have the Mechanicus logo on them, and that's really silly. All right, let's get started. That is nasty gunk. Oh, Commissar Friends, data recording. Tech Priest, know that I expect my tank to be flawless upon its return. Should this not be the case, I will arrange for you to join my forces gathered for the assault upon withheld strategic ace to mayor B-785. Indeed, I am certain you would fit in admirably with the ragtag collective of my vanguard. Well, see, the second one sounded like a threat, but the third one sounded like a compliment. You know, I will move you to the front lines if you fuck this one up for me. Hmm. This is 
pondering whether even with the giant cannon an Imperial Guard vehicle could take on a Space Marine's vehicle. I mean, the Land Raider was smaller than this. That's funny, because that's kind of the shade of green I thought that the Dark Angels were. I should mention for Justin's sake that when I got here, the entire tank was evenly coated with a layer of, uh, I guess it's dust. It looks like sand. But no, no, it's dark green underneath all that brown. Yeah, let's just blind myself real quick. Ah! Just walk right up and ask it how many... Well, there's some battle damage. It does look like a scorch mark, but how would I fix that? I mean, what could what could cause battle damage that's only, you know, that you can wash off? It looks bloody and burnt, so let's get rid of that battle damage entirely. Wow, that worked really well. Okay, yes, I need to concentrate on a spot, I guess, so I'll just keep going. sure the manuals for the Imperial Guard, like in-universe, the ones they give you when you join, encourage you to think of your life as belonging to the Emperor's, so you don't feel bad about throwing it away just because he needs you to? Space Marine squad will have somewhere between like three and five Space Marines in it, as far as I know. And an Imperial Guard squad will have somewhere between 12 and 20 guys. That's one squad. <laughs> important. You'd think they wouldn't expose that. Track adjuster. What's this? Multi-melta swivel. Meltas are like a combin- or like... If I had to describe them in layman's terms, I'd say they're like napalm flamethrowers. Entirely accurate, you know. You get the idea. It's a combination of chemicals that burns like a motherfucker. And it's called Melta because I think it can melt straight through, like, well, stone, concrete, whatever. People, sure. You'd think with that name, though, that it would be an orc thing. Like, the, the official name for orc guns, any gun made by an orc, is Shooter. I think the logic behind the orcs was, this is a really depressing setting, so let's make one faction that's just having a fantastic fucking time all the time. Because, like, Warhammer orcs don't fight because they're, you know, aggressive and warlike. Oh, hold that thought. Commissar Franz, data recording. Among our numbers are the regiment withheld. Are you familiar with them, Tech Priest? Oh, 
whilst most of my number need encouragement from my power sword with regiment withheld, I need to hold them back. On which side of my power sword might you fall, Tech Priest? Fucking commissars, man. Think of commissars as being, like, morale officers from hell. Like in Dawn of War 1, the units had uh, morale ratings, and you know, if it drained completely, then the uh, unit, like, panicked. I don't think they ran away or anything, but they were, like, way more likely to get hit, even in cover. And, you know, they didn't do as much damage because they weren't fighting with all their hearts and all that. Uh. Commissars solved the problem of morale by executing a random member of the squad and declaring that it will happen to everyone who doesn't fight for the Emperor with all of their might. And then the morale bar fills up again. <laughs> oh, there is a ladder here. Good. Like, I would say uh, Imperial Commissars in this setting are better known for executing their own guys than for their combat prowess. thing about looking into 40k is that I can only do it for so long before <laughs> I kind of get overwhelmed by how fucked up everything is and need to stop. I just, I just need to take a break for a bit. Look at something that isn't so unrelentingly grim. some fans cooked up an alternate universe they call Bright Hammer, where, uh... Well, it's basically Warhammer if it wasn't Grimdark. So the Emperor is still around, and he has a goatee, like alternate universe Spock from Star Trek. They fight for the people. You know, there's hope. ports. I guess those are actual holes. They can probably fire out of that. Stowed extinguisher, stowed oil can, stowed canteen, uh, stowed fuel can, huh. I bet that's model accurate. Oh, 303, yes. Dominatus. Nice. I don't know what that means, it just sounds cool. It's probably 
some kind of regimental symbol. It's a skull inside of a building shape with uh, the Roman numeral for eight underneath, uh, Justin. I'm confident I don't know that one. Heavy stubber. I mean, it just kind of looks like a machine gun to me. The standard Imperial Guard unit is armed with uh, a laser rifle that is, in fact, just called a LAS rifle. Uh, but because, you know, they shoot photonic energy, and they are far and away the weakest sidearm used by a standard soldier in the 40k universe, because again, the Imperial Guard are intentionally underpowered and make up for it with the sheer number of dudes. Uh, so because of that, you know, it's considered really, really weak, and uh, Imperial Guard players very affectionately refer to those rifles as flashlights. better. Who oh boy, getting all the nooks and crannies in these tracks is going to suck. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting behind these things, and, you know, I'm rotating, so then the wheel's in the way of the wrong angle. Why did this tooth thing have to be there? Yes, I know that's how it fucking works, but I... Uh, wait. No, no. I did not think this ability would be as useful as it has proven to be. I have to admit that. The ability to, uh spray something while not looking directly at it. You know, make sure you can just get the angle better. Like that, right there, for example, under this wheel. It'd be a real pain in the ass to line up with just the center of the screen. Oh boy. Oh good, I got one of the track wheels. One. imagining the tech priest lying on his back holding the thing above his head and pointing it behind him, just like, lying here like this, so he reaches behind him and sprays underneath the tank. Excellent. Uh, I did want to read a comment, didn't I? Oh, shit! I actually didn't read the prayer I looked up for this one. Fuck, I am apologizing. Uh, <clears throat> the hymnal of engine commencement. The machine is my temple, each one a sacred shrine. I name each piston blessed and each every gear divine. I was really, really amused to discover there is just straight up a page of, uh, Mechanicus prayers in one of the wikis. By the way, regarding the flashlight thing, it might amuse you to learn that far and away the most uh, uh, enduring running joke about the uh, the Mechanicus is that the tech priests are secretly all sexually attracted to toasters.
remember a scene from uh, when the emperor, or if the emperor had a uh, text-to-speech device, where a bunch of the uh, of the custodies, the uh, uh, the personal bodyguard of the emperor, who mostly spent time in the uh, imperial palace these days. Uh, well, they had reason to go to Mars, but the uh, Mechanicus wasn't playing along, and the guard wasn't letting them through. So they had one of their custodies, Dreadnoughts, go forward. This extremely advanced machine with, you know, uh, an ancient thermic engine and extraordinary power. And as this machine is just rattling off, you know, as this Dreadnought is just rattling off all a bunch of you know, statistics about his systems. They're just playing the oh yeah music from fucking Ferris Bueller in the background and the uh, tech priests are all getting more and more visibly agitated. <laughs> oh, it's Commissar Franz again. Data recording. Beyond the regiment withheld stand three companies of Cadian troops. To say they will be squandered in my diversionary vanguard is an understatement. That makes sense now. Okay. It's just a diversion. He's sacrificing their lives to make it someone else's job easier. But I doubt you possess the honor to fight alongside them. Oh, how dare you. I honor the Omnisaya with my work. So much grime. What is this? Rust. Got some other. I've got some uh, 40k games I've been meaning to do let's plays of. Like the game that's just called Space Marine and is, uh, you know, a third person shooter. Or, uh, you know, more recently, uh, what is this? Gunner platform. I thought that was a computer with buttons on it for a minute there, but no, that's just a step. Um. Shit, I just realized I can't remember what it's called. Oh, yes, 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 uh, Necromunda Hired Gun. I believe Necromunda is a different, uh, tabletop game that takes- that also takes place in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. My understanding of that one is that the gameplay was inspired by uh, Doom 2016. But, you know, 40k. You're like a cyborg bounty hunter mercenary living in the hive city of Necromunda. A hive city being a city that has, like, more than a billion people living in it, I think? You can immediately understand why they're called that. Oh yeah, and you can have a dog in that game, an attack dog who fights alongside you, and who you can also upgrade cybernetically. There's just a shitload of games set in this universe. Okay, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, it's good. I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator, when we continue cleansing this tank until it shines. And then we never have to hear from the Commissar again, hopefully. <laughs>
Uh, till next time. <laughs> Crazy Omnisaya. Later.